How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to how the dinosaurs actually died by In a Nutshell. Alright, so this one should be another banger from In a Nutshell, you know, because like, you always ponder the question like, what actually killed the dinosaurs? I know a lot of people are like, oh, well the asteroid killed the dinosaurs, but like a lot of the other people, like if you're Arnold Schwarzenegger from Batman, Batman and Robin. What killed the dinosaurs? Yes, I Depending on who you talk to is like a different answer, you know? You could say like, oh, well volcanoes killed them, or like the shift change in like the climate and stuff like that. Like, there's a lot of different variables and stuff to talk about when the subject alone, you know? So I really, really appreciate them like picking subjects that like I had no idea I needed answered, you know? It always goes back to that. Like, they keep answering stuff that I had no idea I had to ask in the first place. So it should be really, really enjoyable and like just you sit there and ponder because I'm pretty sure he's gonna like go all the way left field just talk about like something very spontaneous and like just really awesome 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 and whimsical <laughs> everything's just bubbling in my brain so without any further ado here is how the dinosaurs actually died already a ruthless dead. murder was committed i see that someone killed the dinosaurs and we have the murderer very violent witnesses say that an everest sized I asteroid hit earth let's devastated go, the man. planet and caused a mass extinction yeah dude. a simple fascinating the first one and I convincing said. explanation Convincing, or you say? Is it? Oh, the Sherlock the Holmes like yes, going on. I love it. Has reinvigorated an older theory pointing at a second suspect. Yes. A very slow and liquid asteroid, one thousand times bigger. Was it the other thing I talked the about? Opposite side of the planet. The volcano. Like the true crime channel we are, let's look at the, the new true crime channel and tell a different story that could change oh. everything we thought we knew. The okay, last days let's of a go. kingdom. 66 million years ago, Earth that was all? barely recognizable. It was the last days Especially of the Cretaceous, the people. one of the hottest periods in Earth's history, and much more humid. Lush jungles and woodlands covered much of the planet. Even the polar regions were home to forests of prehistoric pines and ferns. That is something to think about, though. Like, Amazing just ecosystems how different that were robust enough to survive changed. the many months of darkness during the polar night. Has been Oversized a while, animals <laughs> were everywhere. Pterosaurs filled the skies. Marine lizards and uh, long-necked uh, monsters up to, to 50 be there meters during all these the like, different animals and, and creatures. On land, basically everything larger than one meter was a dinosaur. Almost reminds one of the most Serena. successful animals ever to walk Serena? Earth, dominating the world for more than 150 million years. And then they were murdered. <laughs> all these majestic creatures. Why do you keep saying the M word, man. It's way more violent. Geological time. Why? Yes, it is true that around that time, a big asteroid hit Earth. But was this actually what killed the dinosaurs? Or did it oh, arrive dive just deep. in time I hope to get all so the blame? Oh. Because according to some recent science, just before the asteroid struck, an ancient nightmare, older than even the dinosaurs, decided to destroy the world. It keeps looking like Let's a look mushroom cloud, have done it. maybe not. The beast slowly awakens. Oh. The ancient continents almost resembled the If I was the actually right today, about the volcano thing, that was quite. just a throwaway line. <laughs> India was still a continent-sized oh. tropical island full of lush rainforests and exotic life on its way to smash into Asia. Let's but go. this paradise also hosted something else. Kind of like the opposite the of what's happening in California. A volcanic region a thousand kilometers wide and about to come to life in a dramatic fashion. Right. The apocalypse began Someone's explosion. quietly and silently. About 800,000 like years before the impact, or the Jellystone, whatever it's called. Began to exhale whatever about one's not the Yogi Bear. tons of CO2 and sulfur dioxide each year, which in oh. the grand scheme of things was not I thought that, that was much. the one. So for a long time, no one noticed. It is the one. The problem was... Stop showing me scale, man. I always, like, stop. break my brain. For half a million years, they started to dangerously pile up there in the is. atmosphere. About 300,000 years the end, before we? the asteroid, the Deccan traps started to vomit lava. This was nothing like a normal eruption. It was a lava flood. Imagine a oh. landscape with volcanoes stretching you beyond add flow the horizon. Or flood to anything, it makes it like active, that. releasing a steady lava. flow of massive amounts of poison and lava, interrupted so by that much one more Jurassic World movie was right? eruptions. The lush paradise of India was the first victim as gigantic clouds spread toxic fumes and poisoned the coastal regions. Clouds of ash oh. darkened the sky as rivers of magma started massive wildfires, eradicating many local ecosystems. Oh, this is the part I hate. The like, I know it's been like a dinosaurs. billion years. Still, at this point, it all looked like a local catastrophe. One but of it's many still sad. There's still creatures, man. Billions of years of history. 
Had it stopped here, there might still be dinosaurs today. Oh. But the nightmare hadn't even Flip begun suits. yet. The beast Barney, I knew furious. Barney. Didn't think I did. The didn't. Deccan traps would just not stop spewing lava. And so, after hundreds Music got of thousands like metal, of, of never-ending volcanic emissions, the catastrophe became global. First, there the planet experienced okay. a wave of heating, with oceans getting at least two degrees Celsius Was hotter Arnold in just right 100,000 well? years. Which is bad, but just about the time frame that leaves ecosystems a chance to adapt. But then, nature would pull a cruel prank. Stop! Some of the gases of the Deccan Traps it's the same the face up, too. while others cooled it down. But the mix was uneven, so after the initial warming, a period of cooling followed, massively huh. stressing the ecosystems that barely managed no, to Gary. adapt to the hotter temperatures. I remember him from grad school. At the same time, the sulfur in the atmosphere came back down as acid rain, uh, while the CO2 was acidifying the oceans and killing the plankton, which was, and still is today, the basis of the food web in the oceans. And if plankton disappears, a massive extinction is all but guaranteed. But now, okay. the grand finale it starts with plankton begin. and bacteria and about 50,000 years before impact, the true apocalypse came. Like a cosmic horror breaking out of its prison, okay. the Deccan traps roared and screamed okay. and began to spew out tens of trillions of tons of magma. Quite literally, a mixture of all of them. Gases Mostly the volcano. Slot that lasted for several thousand years. Rolling over Just ecosystems, constant. Stop! devastating everything they reached. I don't need the visualization time, of that. As long as all of human civilization, this lava Armageddon brought massive wildfires. Earthquakes and tsunamis smashed and shook the continent. So much heat Just was released from the roaring hot interior Literally of our planet, got bored in a planet-making simulator. Cyclones tens of kilometers wide, with winds reaching almost 1,000 kilometers an hour. Three Good times more God. than the deadliest hurricane ever recorded by humanity. I was about to say, have we ever hit These a storm like that? These storms were so massive and intense In that they could timeline? reach tens of kilometers into the stratosphere and rip holes into the ozone layer with devastating consequences for all life now without protection from the sun's yeah. radiation. And then and the... Of course, okay, the so it's literally occurred, like all of them that I said at the beginning. Follow. And as if all this wasn't enough, Stop. out of the guts of the earth came colossal amounts of venom. Venom. Giant clouds loaded with mercury and, and hydrochloric acid rolled over the planet, delivering the final blow to the remnants of a once magnificent uh, and fertile world. As food chains crumbled the and the whole world in this one. collapsed, some of the last dinosaurs to ever walk the earth may have died vomiting toxic foam oh. while being bathed in acid rain. A cruel end for the members of a noble yeah. family that had ruled the world for so long. Then, Makes you almost want to shed a tear. The frenetic eruptions slowed down and the endless natural disasters began to fade away. But the world Lucky. was changed forever. After it, like, kills everything. The monster had left unfathomable devastation and corpses in its wake. Even the planet's ecosystems far away were severely wounded. It was the end of a whole geological era. A murder that started slowly I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting his eye to open and back up. Violent. It's not and movie. It happened. It's not Hollywood. Like a cosmic joke, this may or may not actually happen. The world, a bright dot of light appeared in the sky, and an instant later, an asteroid wow. came across, smashed into Earth. So he just like that was a mercy blow. Atomic bombs. If you want to see what this was like, we made a whole video about it. Dino if on Earth was like a murder victim barely holding on. This was the final blow. Just too much. Great choice of words After in this video, the by the way. On oh the my other god. Side of the world, it's just a pimple, it's okay. traps went on expelling tens of trillions of tons of deadly trillions. gases for another 800,000 years, making sure the devastated planet stayed covered in poison. When they eventually poison finished Cusco. and truly went back to sleep, 75% of all species on Earth had perished. Most 75. famously, almost all dinosaurs. Good except god. birds. Let's go. The only dinosaurs that are still with us today. Their stunning oh, my beauty and diversity are a shy reminder of how majestic and wonderful their I'm not your mate. Don't do that to must me. have been. Let's go. So, who was the murderer? Were the dinosaurs I think it's just a mixture of all of it. I've got to be real. Or would they have survived without the asteroid? Was it teamwork? Well, we don't know. Scientists have been fiercely debating this question for years, but for now we have oh. no definite <laughs> answer. The timeline of events that we've shown here is based on some of the most recent reconstructions of the evolution of the Deccan traps. Mm -hmm. There are other ones I really like that how paint they a different picture, themselves. but right now, scientists are still fiercely <laughs> arguing over this. Check our sources to learn more. 
I don't know, so like, what like they demonstrated does crime, make sense, you know? can't end this story with an easy and satisfying resolution. Obviously. Time Let's has make it the nasty habit of erasing evidence. Oh. So maybe we'll never really know. That's but very true. Something else it's not like they wrote it down. Dust, something truly terrifying. As we learn more and more about the past, we found that at least four of the five big mass extinctions happened at the same time as the Earth was furiously spewing gargantuan amounts of magma. Interesting. The monster that might have killed the dinosaurs seems the to be a serial killer. The worst massacre ever, the Man, the way he's wording this, I know I stated it, but years ago was caused by the Siberian done. traps. A hellish flood of lava yeah. that killed 95% of all the species on Earth, almost bringing life to its knees. Until recently, many scientists thought that this was an outlier, just but new evidence suggests it may have been the rule. Other big rule. mass extinctions happened when the monster awoke from its sleep, and the longer and more violently it rampaged, the more slaughter we can see in the fossil it's record. turned into smog. So maybe the dinosaurs were not massacred by a casual murderer from outer space, but by a serial killer hiding beneath Dude. our feet. Stuff like this really makes you think. All of this? I like Definitely it. Not. I think it's cool. But while the monster is real, it's amazingly slow Probably like the Book of Revelations in the Bible. Sleepy. If it were about to awaken again, scientists monitoring the Earth's interior would get a warning really early, Hopefully. maybe even millions of years in advance. Time enough saying that to Yellowstone, prepare man, that's and so cool. move out <laughs> that's a of doozy. the way. Enough about mysteries of the past. I and love that, puzzles dude. In the present. Oh. We're testing out this project crate from our sponsor, KiwiCo, today. They offer see a lot of you. for kids on topics like science, mechanics, biology, and even things like ice cream making and ice cream yes, making? dinosaurs too. Each oh my. one is like a little adventure in a box that lands going on. on your doorstep, either individually or as a subscription. Oh, and beautiful each things. box comes with all of the supplies you need along with kid-friendly instructions to help That is away. amazing. So what it's like a Gundam kit for science. The puzzle maybe? No, a robot crab. Well, go ahead, assemble it. That's honestly was really cool. It gives you lots of background. Love stuff like this. It like makes kids think, world. but like it's also they fun, you know. Kiwico because they spend hundreds Literally of this channel. I described this channel. Testing their products just like we do on our videos. That's awesome. There are more than 2000 projects available for kids of all ages. I want that. You count as a kid at heart. I mean, I have to explore and learn in a whole new way. I could technically, I have an excuse to get all this stuff. Code Kortzgesagt to get 50% off your first month of Kiwi Co. I love it. I love all of this, man. All right, so, man, that was like everything, like, I kind of jabbled about at the very beginning, you know? Like, I was talking about the volcanoes and then the asteroid and then the Ice Age, like, kind of touched on the Ice Age a little bit, but, like, it was really, really cool how, like, it's not just one singularity, you know? At least as far as the, I'm talking about the video, you know? Like, like he said in at the end of the video, like, there's a lot of speculation and argument and stuff in the science community about, like, what actually conspired, but, like, this it legitimately makes a lot of sense if you think about it like yeah it technically started with one thing which is like the volcanoes and the lava and everything like that is a doozy and it like made for the complications of the future like what well very past of us but future for them the poor little dinos but like it like it made the ozone land disappear you know to where like the meteors could travel through it and then like it just like you know it, everything fell into place to where like it seemed like it was their time <laughs> Long story short, it was their time to die, but like, it's just really, really crazy to think about, like, you go into, like, the butterfly, uh, whatever it's called, the butterfly theory and stuff like that, like, one small change, what would have happened? Like, kind of like he said in the video, you know, it's like, if it would have stopped there, we might still have dinosaurs walking among us, but because it just kept going, like, the domino effect, just the bigger, bigger, even huge freaking world-ending catastrophe that is the last domino, you know? But our planet strived and, like, flourished after that, which is really, really crazy, and then, like, millions and millions upon millions of years later, we show up, which is really, really, really weird to think about. Like, we're just a tiny minute detail on the timeline that is like our world and like these creatures i'm getting way off topic but like these creatures like walk the earth among us and like for them to just like die out like obviously that mystery like he was kind of like orchestrating it as like a murder mystery aspect going on you know like that is beautifully done dude like it really makes you like get into the mood of like what he's talking about and i love it i love it with a passion and it felt like i didn't talk as much as i did in the previous ones but for good reason i was trying to soak it up because this one I actually care about. I like Jurassic Park and all that. I'm not like a I'm comic nerd. I'm not a 
dino nerd, but I still really enjoy dinosaurs. But all in all, man, this video was fantastic. I, I really enjoyed it. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like down below, subscribe, ring the bell, become a member, you get videos a day early, and check out the merch. So with that said, I have been nice with you. That has been fantastic, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Later, days.